Let's go incognito. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about what I just spent $1,000 on. So if you don't know what Incognito is, it's a project that was created by NFT collectors, artists, and professionals with the goal of bringing something unique and special to the NFT community. The collection consists of 10,000 randomly generated and unique characters living on the Ethereum blockchain as ERC721 token. Now that we're done reading the website, this isn't just another one of those generic 1,000 piece collections that you guys see popping up on OpenSea. This one actually has a pretty cool vision and a plan with an awesome community, which I really, really appreciate in a NFT project. So if you are new here from the community, do me a favor, scroll down and hit that subscribe button for me because it just means a lot. But Let's actually hop into their website. They talk about their rewards, their NFT art, and their future visions and their plans, and it got me really, really excited. So pretty much to recap, they plan to give over $500,000 worth of rewards to all incognito collectors. Their rewards range from anything from like hoodies, hats, $80,000 paintings, and more. It's kind of crazy, but... You'll be able to get 3D files for 3D printing. You can download the NFT in 6K resolution. They're constantly rewarding their icon holders with $200,000 in buybacks, their cool website, $100,000 in givebacks and rewards, merch. They are actually going to outer space, Lego sculptures, Alec Monopoly, painting rewards, metal prints, liquidity pools. They've already 3X'd their floor price from the minting price. They have over 5,000 ETH in trading volume. There's celebrities in here. There's a lot of marketing. They were just on a Times Square billboard thing. But most importantly, they have a really awesome community that actually helped me focus my search and eventually buy my first icon. So. There are a lot, and I mean a lot, of things to look at when it comes to picking out your first incognito icon. So buckle up, I'm just gonna fire through these. First of all, you have their materials, which is black plastic, white plastic, light marble, concrete, glass, robotic, bronze, gold, money signs, human, and Legos. Then you have their body, which means are they wearing a black hoodie or a white hoodie or no hoodie at all? Then you have their earrings, black hoop, silver hoop, diamond earrings, gold hoops. Then you have a ton of different eyes to choose from. Black X, white X, sunglasses, reading glasses, old glasses, futuristic glasses, silver coins, gold coins, black football stripes, the Cyclops visors, monocles, thieves masks, eye patches, ski goggles, 3D glasses, VR glasses, icon coins, classic shades, Lego coins, Lego futuristic glasses, Lego X eyes, Monopoly monocles, but it doesn't stop there. They have face accessories with mind stones, black nose piercing, ski masks, silver nose piercing, gold nose piercing, Spartan helmets, space helmets, gas masks, and Lego ski masks. Then they have hats, leaf crowns, military helmets, headphones, black bucket hats, blue bucket hats, cowboy hats, black backward caps, white backward caps, black beanies, rubber caps, military berets, police hats, red beanies, sailor hats, sport headbands, ETH hats, fireman hats, crowns, magician's hats, white icon hats, black icon hats, devil horns, angel halos, both devil horn and Angel halos in good and evil, gray hats, Lego beanies, Lego devil horns, Lego headphones, and Mr. Monopoly hats. <gasps> then they have mouths, <laughs> cigarettes, black surgical masks, gray surgical masks, white mustache, black mustache, toothpick, red bandana, cigar, vape, weed joint, money bandana, smoke pipe, cigarettes, but frowning, and Lego masks. And if you thought all of that was crazy, you forgot about their necks. They have diamond chains, ETH chains, Cuban chains, death collars, and icon chains. So 
As you can tell, there is a lot to choose from. So how do you find the best one? Well, I don't think you need to. That's the cool part. So I went really, really deep trying to figure out which one's the rarest one, which one is the best bang for my buck, which one has the best features, the most the most desired features, right? I, I want the, the coolest one. Which one ranks higher on the rarity lists? So I scrolled through rarity.tools. It's a tool that shows you all the different features and has a rarity score and stuff. It's actually pretty useful for a lot of NFT projects. I kept using their platform for hours and hours as my wife watched me and just thought I was crazy for staring at pictures of blank faces for hours. But eventually I realized that each material has its own floor price each feature has its own target audience some are floor based models others are high ranking unique ones others are just cool so i opted for one that's cool this is what i bought icon number 9690 so it's ranked 2458 out of 10,000 in terms of rarity if you care about that it has four properties black plastic which 35 percent of the icons have diamond earrings which only five percent of the icons have and a white x on its eyes which only eight percent have and on top of all of that a very strong white mustache which only four percent have so I'm very excited about this project. I'm super excited to learn more about it. I'm going to be making some videos talking about all of the different things to look out for and all of the different things that are coming up in their uh, milestones and what they want to start announcing. They have different contests. They have a lot of different events and stuff and things to look out for. So if there's anything in particular that you want me to cover for this project, let me know in the comments. I'm super excited about this project. There's going to be way more videos to come. I'm going to take a look at their white paper with you guys. Let's take a look at their roadmap and we might even highlight some that are for sale that might be valuable. So if you're interested in all of that, please hit that subscribe button. It should be fun. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.